Hey guys, um, I know it's been like two years since I made a video, um, but I don't know, I just, um, I came on here to do like a, a life and a channel update, um, because I'm hoping to, to start making more videos again, uh, and a lot's happened in the last two years, but also, um, like nothing has happened in the two, last two years, if that makes any sense. Like, I haven't moved forward in my life at all. A lot of things have happened. I've changed as a person, I think, a, a fair amount, and I've learned a lot um, about myself and about the world and lots of stuff, but uh, I've kind of, other than that, been mainly just like feeling kind of like I'm treading water. Like, I haven't really gotten anywhere. Uh, so that's great. But, um, I guess I'll just start with, like, a life update. Um, so, like, the last time that I came on here, uh, I was working, uh, for fresh restaurants. I can say that now, I guess. Um, and it was really, I really didn't like the work environment. I I'm not sure if I mentioned that ever, but um, it, it it wasn't nice. I didn't like working there. Um, and uh, so another job opportunity kind of like fell in my lap and I jumped on it. And then I was like the only person working. It, it, it was a, a legal dispensary, before, like very shortly before they legalized weed in Canada. Um, and it was like in the front of my apartment. It was so perfect that I just jumped on it. But then um, the person that I was working for ended up, eh, I mean, you could say kind of taking advantage of my <laughs> good nature and, uh, and, and helpfulness and stuff. And so I ended up working like 12 hour days, seven days a week. It, it was like 13 hour days, seven days a week at one point. I was making a lot of money, but I was also spending it mainly on food what else <laughs> if you watch any of my other videos you would know that probably um i'm still vegan like i i feel like that goes without saying this is actually um my fifth this month uh june 2020 is my fifth year vegan anniversary <laughs> or whatever you want to call it so that's cool um anyway so I, I started working for this uh dispensary and i was working for this guy for a while and um he ended up kind of screwing me over uh so that's cool and then i was doing my own thing for work for a while i still am um you know getting by i guess as much as i can you know um yeah so i moved uh I, I don't live in the same place anymore. I, I got a car over the course of the time I was working for that person. Um, what else? Is, <laughs> I mean, so a little over a year ago, I came out um, as gay. So like, I'm, I'm gay. I'm queer. I, I'm, I'm, I'm mainly gay. I like women um, a lot more than guys. I mean, like, if you really wanted to, like, get all labely with it, you would, I guess you could say I'm, like, demisexual, pan romantic, but I, I much prefer, like, femininity and female features and, and women in general. So, yeah. Um, I, I generally just tell people I'm gay because that's the easiest <laughs> way to describe it um yeah i'm a lesbian uh yeah so that there's that uh yeah um so like i said I, I i learned a lot about myself um but you know i'm still single so that's great um you know i'm, I'm still like essentially i haven't moved forward i haven't gotten towards my goals at all uh you know, so that's cool, and it kind of leads into why I'm back on YouTube, and 
in my channel update. Um, so I need to get my life like back on track. I've, I've been pretty depressed also in this this last while, especially this last little while with, you know, the quarantining and uh, social distancing and all of that. Um, yeah, I haven't been doing great lately and it shows uh, in how I've been taking care of myself and that sucks. So, um, I haven't been like cooking and, you know, I, I guess I just, I realized that like, I don't, I, I just don't have motivation. I have no motivation to do things for myself. Uh, I don't know how to fix that. I genuinely don't know how to fix that. So, um, I figured that like, hopefully if I come on here and I have some people to interact with, or at least I'm making videos about it, uh, something will hold me accountable. <laughs> um, because I can't seem to do it for myself and I don't have anyone in my life to do that for me. So, so my plan, um, is to get my house in order, uh, and like actually stay on top of it because, you know, I've cleaned it once or twice in this time, but it just, I end up just, you know, getting lazy and going back to not doing anything, and I, I, I literally, like, I spend the majority of my time just sitting around my house and smoking weed. What can I say? That's what I do. I, I watch YouTube, and I watch Netflix, and I hang out with my dogs, and I sit on my fuck, I sit on my couch, and I smoke weed. And that's it. I, I, I barely eat. Like, I have a problem. Um, so yeah, that's the other thing. I need to, I need to stop smoking weed. I'm like, I know it's not addictive, it, but it's habit forming. It is habit forming. And oh boy, do I ever have a habit of, of not doing anything at all, except sit and watch TV and smoke weed. I, <laughs> I mean, sometimes I don't even watch TV. Sometimes I just sit here, right here, the same spot that I'm sitting right now, and I just smoke weed for hours. And I and I'll look at my phone, or or I'll stare in space, and I, yeah, I don't do anything. Um, I started taking a dog training course, so that's cool. I started taking it online in um, February. And I haven't done any, I, I just, I, I got to the first written assignment. I outlined it. I did half of it. And I haven't looked at it again since like the middle of April. And I, I can't bring myself to do it. I don't know why. It's not like it's hard. I like writing. Like, I don't, I don't know. But yeah. Um, so quit smoking weed. Um, I'm hoping that'll help with my motivation. I, I did it before when I, when I worked at the restaurant and, um, uh, it didn't really work. I ended up, I didn't smoke weed, but I still just sat around on my couch. Like this has been a problem with me for quite a while. And, uh, I think it helped a bit when I was making videos before, when I was making like the cooking videos, the recipe videos, and the food tasting videos, so uh, maybe I'll get back into that too. I, I think I will probably. Um, I don't have my video camera anymore, I'm actually filming this on my phone. Uh, so, you know. Sorry. Um, I lent it to a friend, uh, and then we had a falling out, and she blocked me. And my camera's gone. It it's fine. You know, uh, whatever. <sighs> I don't need the drama in my life. So, I mean, my phone takes decent video, and so, you know, it's good for now. Um, maybe you know, like if I can. <laughs> 
once I dig myself out of my financial hole that I'm in, um, because there's the other thing, like I, I owe a bunch of money to, you know, just different things. Like I don't have any credit card debt, but I have like fines, uh, from like tickets. It's it, okay. Mainly it's a, it's a really big fine I have from like a no insurance driving ticket that I got like in 2013 Jesus like yeah yeah like seven years ago uh and um yeah so there's that and then uh I got a couple fines when I when I was working for the guy at the dispensary um we got raided a few times and I got some fines for selling weed without a license um so there's a bunch of like bills and stuff like phone old phone bills um internet and hydro bills from like that's a whole other story some you know friends that were my friends at the time that I got from my friends I was helping them out and they ended up screwing me over <laughs> story of my life people just love taking advantage of me because I'm such like I'm trusting and helpful and good-willed so yay that's great um yeah, anyways, so I have, like, a bunch of, of, of debt, so I need to, like, dig myself out of that and, you know, like, deal with my finances. That's, uh, yeah, that's my main thing that I, that I need, things that I need to do that I think are gonna help, hopefully, pull me out of this depression and maybe help me get my motivation back and... Yeah, all that good stuff. So, yeah, I, don't know, I guess that's it. Um, I'm gonna, I mean, the, the, the weed smoking is the hardest part. So, I don't, I don't know how I'm gonna do that. I, like, I, I literally, like, just sit around and smoke my bong all day. And I, I don't know how to stop. Like, I... I've smashed my bong before. Uh, I just bought a new one, eventually. And it didn't take long. Um, you know, like, I, I put it away and, and stuff like that. But, like, it doesn't, it doesn't help. And I, I feel like, you know just physically getting rid of it it it's not it's not gonna work like I've done it and I just I just buy a new one like I I need someone to hold me accountable so like I'm really hoping that you guys will do that somehow um I don't know you can follow me on um Instagram or Twitter I don't really use Twitter that often I, I can't lie I've been looking at it more recently um, but Instagram, I, I don't really post a ton, but sometimes I post stories, um, and Snapchat, I never go on Snapchat, uh, but it's at Quigley, Q-U-I-G-L-I, so I changed the channel name, oh yeah, I changed the channel name, um, to that because that's the handle that I use on, like, literally everything, and I always have, from, since I was, like, 10, um, it's kind of a, a funny story, actually. I can, I can tell you. Um, so when I was little, I would very often be kind of like dallying behind, uh, and my older brother, he used to yell at me quickly, quickly. I I don't know why. I don't know. I guess just because of the alliteration and, and it sounded funny and he liked it. Um, so he'd be quickly, quickly, uh, and then when I was I think about ten. I wanted an email account so that I could use MSN Messenger when it, I think, yeah, it was like the end of the fourth grade and, uh, and, and our, my classmates wanted to stay in touch because I went to, a, a I was in a, um, a school where we kind of bust in, like everyone bust in from kind of farther away. So we weren't like, we couldn't like walk to each other's houses and stuff like that. Uh, so we all wanted to stay in touch over the summer. And so we all downloaded MSN Messenger, and I needed an email for that uh, Hotmail account. So my uh, my older brother made one for me, and he's like, what do you want your email to be? And I said, I don't know. He said, okay, well, I'm going to make it Quigley. 
at hotmail.com and I'm like, okay, sure. Uh, that's not my email address anymore. I, mean, I lost the password to that like a million years ago, but um, uh, yeah, I'm just, it's kind of stuck. My email address, it was with my email address at first because that was all there really was for, you know, social media back in the day. Uh, it was always kind of some iteration of Quigley and uh, here we are. Now I've changed my channel name on YouTube so that you can all find me on social media. That was the point. Uh, at Quigley, Q-U-I-G-L-I on any uh, platform that um, I have. Well, okay, mainly it's just Instagram, but also Twitter. Uh, don't even bother with Snapchat. I don't go on there. Um, but Instagram and Twitter. I think that's it. So. So that's my channel update and my life update. And I'm still around. I'm still here. I'm still vegan. Um, and I hope to be making lots more videos, you know, soon. Um, like, let me know any suggestions of, of stuff. Like, I'm not going to uh, make videos about, like, my finances, because that's weird. But, um, I'll make videos about, like, trying to clean up and organize this house, which, like, I, okay, I moved here in September of 2019. It's now June of 2020. And I never fully, really, like, unpacked everything and, like, put it away and like sorted it properly you know what I mean like I never really set up properly and I I didn't do like a deep clean when I moved in which I needed to because it was kind of gross so yeah uh I can I can do videos of like the you know cluttering if you want to watch that um or I can just go back to what I was doing before which is lots of like food and uh taste test videos because that is something that although I haven't been Filming it, I still do a lot. If I see a new vegan product, then, like, I will try it. Um, uh, like, Omni Pork, I found that in a, in a grocery store around my area. And I thought it was only available in China. So I was really excited to see it here. And I tried it, and it's amazing. I can make a video, like, a recipe video with that, or just, like, a taste test video. I mean, I've already tried it, so I don't know about that. Um... <laughs> But yeah, I can go back to making taste test videos. There's, I have uh, one thing I think in my freezer right now that I that I bought and haven't tried yet. So yeah, I can make taste test videos. Cooking videos maybe will be a good incentive for me to like eat. Uh, um, yeah, let me know what kind of videos you want me to make in the comment section down below if you care. Um, yeah, other than that, I guess I can just like keep making kind of update videos on how I'm progressing with my sad, pathetic life. <laughs> uh, yeah. I think that's it. Um,